punching, it's kicking. Armored combat is sort of like uh, MMA, but with weapons. To me, this is the ultimate combat sport. My name is Andre Sanu. I'm the co-founder of the Armored Combat League. I'm the uh, captain of the national sword fighting team, the USA Knights. Our form of armored combat started a little over four years ago. It came to our ears that uh, there were some people over in Europe that were doing this and we had to build a United States team and try to be competitive with the world. Most of the arms and armor that we use comes from the late 14th and early 15th century Western Europe. Now there's some other uh, armors, but the best bang for the buck is usually late 14th century, early 15th century armor. It's kind of counterintuitive, but if you're wearing decent armor and you get hit with a sword, half the time you don't even know you've been hit. If you played football, you've done a rougher thing. It's a brawl. I mean, there's no doubt about it. You're going out there and you're brawling. Just like in rugby or football, you've got to have a plan when you go out there. The flankers end up with three people on them, and you end up with two. Now, melees are a lot more intense. Those rules are you fight until submission or until you put somebody down to the ground. There's no typical person for armored combat. You've got people from all walks of life, whether it's some sort of martial arts or football or rugby. Um, there's some history buffs too. And they'll fight and fight and fight and they'll give everything to the point of exhaustion. That's what makes a winner. It's all here. These guys will go hard at each other. They're gonna be swinging as hard as they can. They're trying to knock you down. They're trying to get you to submit. And then they're gonna help you up. They're gonna pat you on the back and they're gonna go have a steak and a beer with you.